Hey everyone, this is Jordan from Lutz Lounge. In this video, this one's gonna be basically for the Lightroom users out there uh, when it comes to editing photos. Uh, but what we're able to do in this tutorial is I'm gonna show you how you can take your LUT files, whether they're my LUT files that are found on LUTSLounge.com or any other LUT file, and you can drag them into Camera Raw slash Photoshop and uh, basically get them exported into Lightroom so you can use those same color grading effects in Lightroom. It's really, really cool. It's actually gonna be a LUT that's converted into a profile, but we'll get into that and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and hop in here and show you how you can take your LUT files for color grading in videos and move them over to Lightroom for photos. Okay, so here we are. I have Photoshop open here. And what our goal is to first get these imported is to open, uh, open a file in Camera Raw. So what we need to do is actually get a raw file. And I have this one right here. I'm just gonna drag it into Photoshop and it's gonna open up in Camera Raw right here. Uh, you can also do this with a JPEG. Uh, I'll, I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about, but you really just need to get into Camera Raw. If this was a JPEG, let's go ahead and open it as it were, uh, as if it was a JPEG. So this is, would be how a JPEG would come into Photoshop. If we need to get into Camera Raw, we can go to uh, Filter here and go to Camera Raw Filter, and that'll open up in the same, uh, same kind of filter box here. So what we need to do is uh, basically import our LUT file into Camera Raw. So uh, there's a bunch of little menus if you're not familiar with this. Uh, basically what we need to do is click on this little menu here. Uh, you can see we click on that. It says uh, a couple different options here. Uh, create preset, copy, edit settings, all that fun stuff. Um, this is the menu that we need, but there's actually kind of a little sub hidden menu in this. So before we click on this more settings menu, we need to hold the Alt or Option key on your computer. So uh, if, we have a, if you have a Mac, hold Option. If you have a, a PC, hold Alt. And hold that down and then click that menu now. And now you can see this where it said Create Preset before. Now it says Create Profile. Now we'll go ahead and click on Create Profile and that will come up with a Create Profile dialog box. And this is where we will kind of import our LUT for us. So uh, first we're gonna not worry about the name of the group right now. We're just gonna import the LUT file first. So I'm gonna click on down here at the very bottom, it says color lookup table. I'm gonna click on that little checkbox. And now what I can do is go find my LUT file. So I'm gonna go to my LUTs here and I'm gonna use um, from my Cinemimic pack, which is kind of like a, a uh, little pack that will kind of mimic uh, popular movies out there. And I'm gonna use the World War Z, so WWZ one here. I'm gonna click on that one. And the only file we can actually import is the cube file, and that's totally fine. Uh, we'll click on the cube file and click load. And now what we'll do is actually give these a name and a group. So a group is kind of like considered a folder. You can see I already have one here called Cinemimic. Uh, and then I'll do that one and we'll do, um, let's see, World War Z since that's what it's called, World War Z and then uh, LUT, and that's about it. We'll just call it that, make it simple. And anything else in here we don't need to mess with, we can just kind of click OK, and we are basically done. So now if we want to go ahead and see the LUT in Photoshop or Camera Raw, uh, we'll go ahead and go to the Basics panel, which you can click here, and we'll click on where it says Browse Profiles, and you can see our folder down here, Cinemimic LUTs, click on that, and there is our LUT. So that is the effect that it makes, and you can change the intensity with the slider if you want to, get crazy with it, whatever you wanna do. So that's the LUT that we created and imported into uh, Camera Raw. So now how do we get that over to Lightroom? It's very, very easy, uh, nothing complicated at all. You basically just need to open Lightroom if it's not already open, or you need to restart Lightroom and it'll automatically pop in. So let's go ahead and just uh, close this out. We're gonna click OK here, not really worry about it. And it's our effect is applied there. Now we're gonna go into Lightroom. You can see I have my Lightroom already open. I'm just gonna quit Lightroom here. So now I'm going to restart Lightroom. And what this is gonna do is allow uh, Lightroom to read that file, uh, kind, of, kind of refresh the folder that it's in so that it's looking in that folder uh, where these are stored. Since Camera Raw and uh, Lightroom kind of share the same folder, it's actually reading that folder and seeing the changes. So here we are in Lightroom. I got the folder already opened up or the file already opened up right here. Click on that. And now if we go over to the develop module, you can see over here it says profile and we have our little profile menu click right there. And it has the favorites there, all that fun stuff. We can close that all down. You can see we have the Cinemimic LUTs, which is the same group name that we gave in Camera Raw. Click on that one. 
and here is the same LUT, same effect. It's actually the same exact effect that you would get as far as videos go, but it's in a still photo. So if you want to match that up, uh, you know, if you have photos that you want to take out of your videos, screenshots, and kind of match up the editing, that's a great way to do it. One small caveat to this is that these profiles that we created using that LUT file are not available to be used on JPEG files. It has to be a RAW file. So if you were to uh, pull in a JPEG uh, into Lightroom or Photoshop, uh, in Photoshop, the only way you could actually apply that is to open the camera RAW filter. But if you open uh, a JPEG in Lightroom, you cannot use profiles. They don't support profiles. So if you, uh, if you again, if you wanna apply those effects, use a RAW file, it's probably the best way to go anyway for them to have the most maximum dynamic range and all that fun stuff. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial on, on taking your LUT files and putting them into Lightroom if you're a heavy Lightroom user. Uh, that's a great way to do it there. And uh, it's, it, it actually turns out really great. The only bad part is you have to do that process over and over and over again with each LUT that you have. So I kind of just recommend doing your favorite LUTs. Uh, that way you don't have to import hundreds and hundreds of LUTs over and over and over again. But just use your favorite LUTs and you'll be uh, you'll be good to go to apply them to your photos. So thank you guys for joining me in this one. Head on over to LUTSLounge.com. More color grading stuff, more tutorials, all kinds of fun stuff. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.